A lot of these price increases are potentially due to just straight. A lot of these price increases are potentially due to just straight price gouging by corporations. If we say we're helping working people too much and say that the cause of this is, oh, it's because we provided too much assistance during the American Rescue Plan, stimulus checks were too generous, that is why we are dealing with the problems that we're dealing with now. What that's going to result in is a pullback in the assistance that some families need the most right now. New York Democratic Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez says government spending isn't to blame for raging inflation. Republicans disagree. So who's right? Well, let's ask former Trump economic advisor Steve Moore and Democratic strategist Kelly Hyman. Uh, Steve, let me just start with you. Um, it's, some would say it's Economics 101. A lot of money poured into this economy, including that big tranche early last year. And maybe that put us over the top. Yeah, look, a year ago, exactly one year ago to today, the inflation rate was 1.7 percent. Biden's been in office for 12 months. It goes from 1.7 percent to, to 7 percent and, and probably going higher. Is there a relationship there with all the massive increase in government spending? I don't think there's any question about it. Why is it for the last 30 years, if it's price gouging, and by the way, companies are going to always try to raise prices, but for the last 30 years, we've had very tame inflation in this yeah. country, Charles. It's been an amazing story. And now all of a sudden, we have a massive increase in, in inflation. They say it's price gouging. The, the two places, by the way, there are two people in the world that are price gouging right now. It's OPEC and the Russians because we're not producing oil here in the United States. Kelly, even before, though, this went through, Larry Summers, uh, who by, is by no means a Republican, warned that the outcome would be massive runaway inflation. So there were some Democrats who were concerned about this, weren't there? Well, I would disagree with you on that. We have to understand, first and foremost, who has the power to tame inflation, and that is the Federal Reserve. And we have to understand, economists have said the best way to deal with the pandemic is end the pandemic. And I think that's key. That's the way to help us get out of this. And that the fact that Biden is doing stuff to help this, whether it's making sure that the ports are open 24 hours to have the supplies or also making sure to, that there's there's gas available for people and, and, and opening up the 50 um, gallons to have that. But ultimately, it's up to the Federal Reserve to have the ultimate impact on the inflation by increasing um, rates. So are you concerned, though, Kelly, yeah. that, uh, that the war on fossil fuels help send up the price of gasoline, spiking to levels where it might start to break a record this summer. Are you concerned? You mentioned the ports that nothing has happened there except that ships are waiting further out in the sea. So you can't see them, but the record levels are still where they are. And are you concerned that too much money has poured into this economy where you had these, that's how you got all the issues in the port in the first place. Uh, those ships were summoned here because there's so much money and so much spending. No, I think we need I think we need drivers to drive the trucks. I think that's key. And I also think that we need to end the pandemic. And so to make sure that people have information and are informed and follow the science to get vaccinated, to get boosted, to wear their masks when need to, to have social distancing, to know that we're all in this together. And not only the U.S. is dealing with this um, inflation, it's globally as well due to the, the pandemic. Steve, your, your thoughts? Well, look, to the, yeah, I mean, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, Ke Kelly is right. That uh, You're exactly right, Kelly. The, the Fed plays a big role in this, no question about it. And I've said on your show, Charles, and, and on uh, Neil's show for, you know, 12 months, the Fed has been way behind the curve in terms of getting, pulling some of this money out of the economy. But when you have the federal government borrowing two trillion dollars a year when you when you increase the government spending by five trillion dollars the fed has accommodated that by putting money in the economy so i think it's equal blame between biden and between the fed and by the way you're right we've got to do something about the COVID crisis i don't think that i'm with the american people i don't think COVID, that uh, joe biden gets very good grades when it comes to uh, you know um what did he say yeah. that he was going to shut down the virus i don't i don't think he's done that no that hasn't worked out but i, I tell you what we'll know a lot more on friday and I'm not sure we want to yeah. see this news because some now are saying we might have lost 400,000 jobs last month. We'll Ooh. have you both on to talk about it. Thank you both very much.